Well, good evening everyone. It's the end of another very long week. Um, I've had a couple of drinks and I should know better by now, but what the heck. We've got a superb unveiling video for you this evening. We've got nine packages to open. We've got some stuff dating from at least the 80s, um, maybe a little bit earlier, I forget. Um, but through to the 90s, we've got some really nice rare stuff once again. Um, I've got Shane McGowan behind the camera recording. So if you hear a really throaty laugh at any stage, that's Shane. Um, so we'll crack on. It's been a really, really good week. Um, some really rare stuff again, once again, cropped up. So I'm gonna fly through them as quickly as I can because I know you've got better things to do than listen to me, but here we go. So we're gonna make some fun about, about some of the packaging that's involved as well. So here we've got a nice cardboard pack backed envelope, which is never the best way to sort of pack anything, but there we are. Inside, oh yes, I know that one is from behind. Uh, Dundee United, about 1993-ish home shirt. Embroidered match winner. Really, really, really nice embroidered Dundee badge. Sponsored by Kelly Copiers. Size, I think it's 34, 36, so it's like a, a youth, so very, very sort of small adult size. Really nice condition, that one. But the Dundee shirts from that period and into the 80s, uh, very difficult to find, especially in nice condition like that one. Next, we've got nice packaging. Oh, look at that tissue package inside as well. Someone's gone to a lot of effort, to be fair. Inside, we have, well, okay. Three, two, one, to guess what it is. Look at that. So what we've got is an original Lecoq Sportif Saint-Étienne 1976-77-ish home shirt. Really nice condition, medium adult size, incredibly rare in that kind of size. There's no team badge. That shows it's a really early version with um, the France colours on collar and cuffs. There's no iron marks on it either, which is what these shirts always sort of succumb to, really. Um, really nice condition. That's a beautiful shirt. Next, we have... Oh, right, OK. This time we go from the 70s to the 80s. And we've got a really, really nice, again, early 80s, Hibs, Hibernian, home shirt by Umbro. Look at that. Really stylish with the white um, sort of shoulders, sleeves, green main body. Again, it's a nice shiny material, which um, mums and irons really shouldn't uh, go anywhere near. Embroidered Umbro badge, sewn on hip shirt. The size label's gone. Um, I think it's again about 34, 36, maybe a 38, 40. Incredibly rare in that kind of condition. Um, really, really nice shirt. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a Tesco bag for life packaging. At least it's good packaging, it's strong. And inside we've got some more plastic packaging. So someone's put a bit of thought behind this one. Right, okay, I can see from the top of that one, what do you think that one is? Those who know will know. But we're looking at here, early 90s, I think it's about 92, three-ish again. Blackpool away shirts. So made by Pallada. Uh, they made a few shirts during that period, um, probably most notably Barnsley. Really nice kits to produce for those. Fountain Boss logos, as usual, there's a bit of the, the fluff sort of attract to that felt. Um, quite a rare shirt, actually, by now. Size wise, we're looking at uh, adults large. This is pretty good. I like them. See a hole at the bottom there, look. Oh. Smells a bit musty as well, doesn't it, daughter? Shane. There we are. Nice shirt. But the next one in the packaging, um, although in a very, very, very small size, there we go, MGC Sports. So that's the 89-90 away shirt. Tiny, I know it's tiny, but these shirts from this period for some of the sort of lower division clubs, incredibly rare, really, really rare. 
Condition is pretty good. There's a couple of marks on it. That's neither here nor there. Really nice fold over collar. Seagulls in the background that you can hear. <laughs> Having a bit of a scrap. Nice shirt. And I think this was sort of thrown in as a freebie because I paid two lots of postage. Oh, I'm looking at that. All right, okay. That's crap. Right, let's move on. Time is precious. Now we're going into about 97, 8, I think, period. Reebok Liverpool goalkeeper shirt. The sponsor's quite a bit discoloured on that one. That's not so great. As is the Liverpool badge. But again, if you have a dark shirt like this, uh, the white background of the badge stands very little chance of surviving really and staying white unless it's washed properly, which this one clearly hasn't been. Even the colours on the collar there is a bit discoloured. Otherwise, <laughs> apart from all that, it's pretty good. Now we've got a white paper envelope. Really, what are you thinking? Okay, at least it's got some plastic inside. Right, so we haven't got a shirt this time. What we've got now, socks. What we've actually got is Newcastle United home socks. Difficult to date because they use this particular design with Umbro for quite a few years. So we're looking at sort of even um, early to late 80s with that particular design, probably I need to check, but certainly mid 80s to 90s. But really smart with the bands and then the Umbro diamonds on them. Next. But here we've got the 2001 away shirt for Liverpool. Most famous probably for the 2001 FA Cup final between Arsenal and Liverpool. Two late goals scored by Michael Owen to win the game and turn the game right round for, for his Liverpool fans. But what's different about this one is, this is a player from club issued shirt. No sponsors logo, so it would have been used for the European campaign. The collar is stitched down onto the actual shirt as opposed to something being loose like replica shirts were and the Reebok logo that's felt embossed as been opposed to being embroidered which they were for um, replica shirts so that's a really really rare shirt some of these sort of Reebok early added the shirts from the um, early to mid 2000s they turn up occasionally but this one certainly doesn't really scarce there's no number no name, so it's not been assigned to a player, but incredibly rare. Moving on, um, thick car packaging, that's a really good one to use. Let's see how easy we get into this one. Okay, so here we've got the 1993 uh, Cantona Kung Fu at Sellers Park, my United away shirt from, from 93. Really nice condition, original one, not one of the reproductions that's kicking around. You can tell that because of that particular style of the blue label and also the white label beneath clearly shows that's original, that's another one in reproduction. Really, really nice condition that one. Chef to bits to find that one. Really smart shirt, a black shirt, I think just looks so smart and we sort of like a yellowy gold trim again makes it just looks great so the last one packed in uh, a black bin bag but with a box inside and a plastic bag so let's get through this as quickly as i can because you don't want to be sat there watching me doing this for too long so must have a really good job on this now inside this one if it's what i think it is um special shirts inside this one especially if you're welsh and especially if you're from south wales even if you don't support this team uh, i'm hoping that you'll look at them and you'll think really nice shirts <laughs> okay uh, someone's gone to a lot of trouble to be fair with this with the packaging and it is important I make fun, but I don't really, because if it's well packaged, then you can really appreciate the effort that someone's put in. So, in here, uh, we've got three or four shirts from memory. And they're all scarce. 
Daughter, stop laughing. You'll start chuckling like Shane McGowan in a minute. Right, here we go. The Exiles, Newport County. I think this is about 95-ish, made by Edward Sports. Nicely embroidered Newport badge. Empress World's number one uh, printed onto the shirt. Look at the condition of that. Really scarce shirt. All of these Newport County shirts from that sort of era are quite hard to get hold of, especially in this kind of condition. Especially if you find that goldy looking chain one. Um, that's even, even better. Here we've got the 92.3, I think from memory, away shirt. Really nice sort of zigzag sleeve pattern in the Newport traditional colours there, uh, sort of gold and black. Nice condition there on the neck label, Kelly. Now, if any of you were uh, supporters of Rill, um, you'll know that Kelly famously produced the, the Rill Welsh Cup final shirt for 1993 when Rill played Cardiff. Now, Rill is just down the road from us here, literally. Um, so it's a little known sort of localish brand, but clearly they went a bit further afield. I wasn't aware of that until quite recently, uh, as far as uh, Newport County shirts. Uh, fairly plain on the back. <coughs> Excuse me, but really, really scarce. And then we've got a modern one, uh, Wales. The Roy of the Rovers, Melchester Rovers shirt there with that green and yellow band going down it. Long sleeved uh, from, I think it's 2012, isn't it? Large size. Love that shirt. That's one of the best. It's one of the best Wales shirts probably since the Admiral shirts came out in the 70s. And finally, we've got another Newport County shirt. So that's the, the home one to go with the away one, I think. Might be these two different actually. Sponsored by George Ford. Again, nice stripes on both sleeves there. The black and white embroidered Newport badge. And it's made by Balan Sports Pontypool Ponty. And there we go. That's it all done for this week. There's some more good stuff on the way as well. So hopefully we'll have another unveiling video uh, in a couple of weeks time for you to enjoy. Thanks very much everyone. Cheers.